Hey everybody. So as you know, I'm going to start in chemo in about a week and a half and um, my nails have been just falling apart. I've, I was getting cracks um, in my um, fingernails that were going into the nail bed, which is really bad because you are at risk for getting infection when that happens, especially when you're on chemo. So um, I just uh, went through and um, you can probably still see the little the the little lines on the nails. It's not a very professional job, but and they're not very long. But the purpose I put on some fake nails, some acrylic nails, because I want to keep the nails that I have underneath there from continuing continuing to crack and rip into the nail bed, which will of course put me at risk for infection. So um, I will try to upload the video. I, I'm going to do a, a an after video after two weeks or so and see how the nails doing hopefully the fakies stay on for long enough for the nail underneath to grow out because the nails that are underneath my natural nails are extremely thin right now because the chemo part from about six months ago is finally growing out and it's extremely weak and they're just cracking and peeling like crazy um, and I just added a couple millimeters of length so that's a couple millimeters of length of you know you can see I haven't cleaned up around the edges yet but I don't really care. I just, I'll make it look nicer later. The point of this video is that if you have undergone chemo and your nails are, are becoming a hazard to your health, literally, um, I'm, I'm going to see if using these really cheap Walmart brand of acrylic nails, but basically it's a fake nail underneath that you glue on and then you put the acrylic, um, stuff on to, you know, the little, you dip it, the paintbrush in the, the liquid and then into the um, the powder, and then you put it on your nails. Make that makes the acrylic layer over the top. I probably didn't put it on thickness, but I'm I'm more concerned with if it's too thick, it might end up. If I I'm very active with my hands, and I'm worried about ripping off the whole nail. <laughs> so I'd rather have the nail underneath the, the the fake nail break off than rip off my whole nail. But my point is to try to protect the na fingernails for a couple of weeks to allow the cracks to grow out, so I can trim that off. And then have healthy nails again. Well, healthier nails again. Because I have at least um, probably another maybe quarter of an inch or a half a centimeter to grow out still before the, uh, the fingernails that were exposed to the chemo has grown out. Uh, which, which is kind of a bummer because I'm going to be going through chemo again. But hopefully it'll be a shorter route and won't have caused as much damage. But the nails were just, I would cut it and it would snag on something. If you know, I was wearing gloves. Every time I'm outside, I wear gloves. And even with the gloves on, my nails were still getting worse and worse and worse. And I was cutting them back. I had nowhere more to cut them back. So in two weeks, I'm going to show you um, how the nails look. And if it works, maybe this will be a solution for you. Because um, actually the other hand <laughs> looks a little bit nicer. So there, there's it being... You can still see the, the the ledge there on this first finger where the fake nails glued on. But you know what? I really don't care. Actually, I can I can scratch myself now and not worry about the nail bending backwards or ripping. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs> when I put them on, it was just like, wow, I have nails again. I didn't realize how much I missed having fingernails. I mean, I had fingernails, but they were basically just thick skin. And they weren't worth anything. I couldn't. I couldn't even open a can of soda, because my finger. I I couldn't use my fingernail to get up underneath the uh, the little lid. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't pop it open because my fingernails. I use a knife or a spoon or something to pop the little pop top on it. So um, anyway, so this is experiment. I know a lot of people ask about fake nails and chemo or acrylic nails and chemo because so many of us have problems. Some people have where their nails actually peeling. It's, it's just it's so dried out that the nails lifting up off of the nail bed. And I think part of that can be re, uh, be saved by keeping the nails short and um, and then wearing a um, we call that a nail hardener, something to seal the nail in, and then using lots of lotion around the cuticles to keep all the fingernail tip and stuff as, as moisturized as possible. Because during chemo, and if you're on hormone blockers, your amount of oils. I used to be really oily. Now my skin's like kind of dry, and it's you know I might I have more wrinkles than I did because I don't have I'm not producing the oils. The oils is what keep your skin looking young. 
So without the oils, our skin dries out and our nails get more brittle. So if you're on hormone, blo hormone blockers for, for prostate cancer or breast cancer, I re recommend making sure you take care of your nails because you don't want infections in these little puppies. That, that hurts. And then if you're really active, like guys, I know you're active with your nails too, your hands a lot. And women, if you're, you're doing lots of, you know, activity in the garden or, or cleaning or, or any, your job, like I, my job, I'm outside, you know, working on fences and taking care of the animals and stuff. And my hands get a lot of abuse. So wear gloves, but, um, Let's see. We'll see how this experiment goes. Hopefully, I don't regret it, but if I do, I'll share that with you because then maybe you'll go, oh, maybe I won't do that then. Anyway, um, take care and be careful out there. Take care, guys. Yeah.